Hey everybody, my name is Matt and this is my good friend Braden. Hi. And we are going to tell you the story of Moses. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, a long time ago in Egypt, there were these people called the Israelites who were the slaves to the Egyptians. And the Israelites were being treated really badly. They had to work all day and they never got to play video games or eat ice cream. Uh, Matt, I don't think there were video games back then. What did they do for fun? Well, they'd help out their families. Okay. It was a real bummer. Yeah, you're telling me no video games. So the Israelites cried out to God. <coughs> and God heard the cries of the people, and he wanted to help them. God had a plan for a man named Moses, that's who the story is about, to be the one to rescue the Israelites. The end. Well, there has to be more about how he saves them. I mean, what did he do? How did he save them? Oh, there is more. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. One day, Moses was out in the fields tending to a flock of sheep when he saw a bush that was on fire. So Moses was like, ah! Call 911! Do you know how to dial 911? phones back then. In fact, I think he went to investigate the bush and see what was going on, because it might have been a sign of God. Wait, so the fire was was God? Well, it could have been. Let's keep reading. Hmm. Uh, the bush was on fire, but it wouldn't burn up. Moses knew that this must be something special, so he got closer to take a better look. And as he got closer, Moses heard God speaking his name. Raiden, what do you think God sounds like? Deep gravelly voice, Moses, Moses. So like, Moses, Why, but is he like whispering? <laughs> like that? Probably not. Yeah. Okay, so he was just talking normal, like a normal person. Yeah. Okay, so he was, he was going closer to the bush and then he heard God speaking his name, Moses. Moses through the flames. God told Moses that he was standing on holy ground. So wait, there was like holes everywhere and God was like, watch out Moses, there's holes. Don't, no. don't step in them. No, I think he meant that God was on that ground and it became holy. So he basically meant, hey, where, where you're stepping right now, I'm here. So this, this is cool ground. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. God told Moses that he was standing on holy ground, so he needed to take off his shoes. Moses did as God said and took off his shoes. So God smelled Moses' feet, and they smelled like sheep and cheese. I don't think he did, A but... A powerful combination. I don't think he did, but let's move on. Okay. Next, God told Moses how sad he was the Israelites were suffering in slavery. He told Moses that he wanted to help them, and he wanted Moses to be the one to do it. Well, Moses got scared. See, he didn't think that he was the right person for the job. He didn't think that he was good enough. But God made a promise to Moses that he wouldn't have to be afraid. God said, I'll give you a tank. I don't think there were tanks back then. I don't think he gave him one. Motorcycle. No. A cool truck. No trucks. God said, I will be with you. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Moses was still nervous, though. He told God that he wouldn't know the right things to say to the Israelites. He wasn't a very good speaker, but God encouraged Moses and told him to tell the people that God himself had sent him. God promised Moses that his plan would work, but Moses was still afraid. But why was Moses afraid if God told him, like, hey, this is going to work? Why is he still scared? because he's nervous about speaking in front of celestial leaders of the Israelites. What's celestial mean? It means it goes from down to down, generation to generation, and there's always one. So like the kings? Kind of. Oh, so he had to go and he had to talk to super important people. Yes. And he didn't know how to talk good. Yeah, because okay. if he messed up, he could not gain their interest and not save the people. Mm, and he'd be in super deep trouble. Yep. Okay, now I get it. 
Moses told God that he didn't think the Israelites would believe that he had been sent by God to save them. So, God wanted to show Moses some of his power. He asked Moses, what is that in your hand? And Moses was carrying a staff because he was a shepherd, like a big stick of sorts. So God told Moses to throw the stick on the ground. So Moses did, or what sound does a stick make when it hits the ground? I'll throw it and you, you make the sound, ready? There we go, perfect. He threw the stick on the ground. And when he did, it turned into a snake. Rattle noise. Moses started to run away, but then God told Moses to grab its tail. What? No, don't grab snakes by the tail. That's a bad idea. But it's God's snake, so maybe when he grabs it, it will do something like change back into a staff again. It does. Oh, that's cool. So he grabbed it by the tail and turned back into his staff. So Moses became a magician. Three shows a night in Vegas, baby. Um, yeah. I think he went to the leaders to prove that God's power is with him. Oh, yeah, because God told him to do that. God told Moses to show these signs of God's power to the people uh, for, for some reason in case they didn't believe him. But Moses still didn't think that he was good enough to go rescue the Israelites. Okay, I'm confused. What is it going to take for this Moses guy to get on board with this thing? Because God is like, hey, here's a bush that's burning, but it's not. Here's a stick, but it's not. It's actually a snake, but it's not. It's actually a stick. Blah, double. And then he's like, oh, sick hand, healed hand. What? I mean, and Moses is like, I don't know if I can do it. What's happening? Well, I don't know. Let's keep reading. <sighs> Moses told God again that he had trouble speaking and couldn't do it. Okay. God told Moses that he himself was the one who made our mouths and gave us the ability to speak. Well, that's true. So there was no need to worry. God would help Moses. But even after all of this, Moses still asked God to send someone else. Come on, Moses. At this point, God got upset with Moses. Uh, yeah. And he said that he would send Moses' brother Aaron with him so that Aaron could speak to the Israelites for Moses. Well, that's nice. So Moses went back to his family and told them God's plan. And they started on their journey toward Egypt. When Moses and Aaron got to Egypt, they gathered all the leaders of the Israelites. And Aaron told them everything that God had said to Moses. Moses used his staff to show them God's power and they believed him. They all worshiped God together. The end. Man, that's so cool. Moses got to go and he got to help the Israelites because he knew that God was with him because the Holy Spirit had, had power. I know. 